Good morning, YouTube. What's going on? It's Mesa back at it with some destiny. So if you're a subscriber, make sure you hit that like button and leave me a comment. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. Without further ado, let's get into the video. It is Zer's day and Zer is located over by the uh, speaker. And if you're new to destiny, Zer comes to the tower every Friday, leaves on Sunday and brings exotic goods with him. So for the Titan, we have the Dune Marchers. For the, war uh, for the Warlock, we have the Alchemist Raiment. And for the Hunter, we have the Sealed Ahamkara's Grasps. Uh, Legacy Engram, do not buy that. And he brought with him Red Death. Now, looking at Destiny Item Manager, the stat roll for the Dune Marchers is 88% tier 12 roll. This one is 99% tier 12 roll. And this one is 94%. So let's go in Dune Marchers. Discipline Strength, Increase Sprint Speed, faster, Move Faster with Aimed Weapon, Tighter Sprinting Turn Radius. Now, I got these and I tried them, and to be frank, they made me dizzy. <laughs> okay, you move too fast. I didn't like them at all. I got Discipline Strength, we got Shotgun Ammo or Rocket Launcher Ammo, and Arc Double Down. So these are made right here for your uh, Strikers, but I would use Glass Needles. Buy some Glass Needles from Xur, use Armor Materials and Glimmer, and you could re-roll everything here. Don't worry, if you level them all up, or if you have something that's exotic and leveled up, use Glass Needle, you can re-roll everything and not have to re-level that piece of gear up. So here's the 99% roll here. We have Discipline and Strength. Gain an additional melee charge and melee damage may reload primary weapon. So first off, we got uh, Discipline and Strength, and that's a good thing because you want Strength if you're going to use these things because you're going to be using these on your Night Stalker and throwing lots of smoke, wombo combo. Grenade and smokes, okay, so you're gonna get double smokes with these bad boys, and uh, these are pretty good. I haven't used them in a long time because I don't use my Night Stalker primarily in PvP. I'm a Blade Dancer. Uh, what do we got? Switchblade, decrease melee attack cooldown time, that's good. Impact induction, bonus grenade energy on melee hits, sidearm reloader, and machine gun reloader. Well, it's a 99% roll, but to be frank, guys, I'm not, well, okay, you know what? Let me know in the comment section, do you like these? Do you want a sidearm reloader or a machine gun reloader? I personally would rather something like for a primary, whether it's a pulse rifle, or maybe a scout rifle, or maybe even a sniper rifle, or even shotgun for that matter. So I'd reroll them if you are not happy with these two things here. All right, Alchemist Raymond. I've not used this thing in a very long time on my uh, Warlock. Chance to gain glimmer on primary ammo pickup with super orbs, recharge grenade, and melee. This one's an intellect strength roll at 94% towards tier 12. I, I'd pass on this thing, guys. Increase intellect and strength. What do we got? Special ammo or heavy ammo. That's one of the good things about this thing is that you don't have to have a specific type of uh, um, ammo. It doesn't have to be sniper, doesn't have to be shotgun, doesn't have to be scout, pulse, whatever. You could just pick and choose what you want. Arc burn defense and arc armor. So this one's ready to go for your uh, storm caller, but uh, it's a 94% roll. Well, first off, I would say pass on this. Uh, and, and if you do buy it, I'd say re-roll it with glass needles. All right, Beloved Red Death, my favorite pulse rifle. Well, actually, one of my favorite guns in the game, next to Hawk Moon, just because of the way it looks, the way it sounds, the sights on it, the ornaments that we're getting soon. Um, but right now, I just feel like it's not good in the current meta, even with high caliber rounds. You know, I'm strictly a... Scrub, Clever Dragon, High Caliber Round user, and um, I actually was was loving High Caliber Round so much that I pulled out my Red Death out of the vault and started using it, and just, I'm not good, man. This is like uh, the Nerwin's Mercy rate of fire and impact. In fact, they got my Clever Dragon on me right now. Yeah, so Clever Dragon, much lower impact, much faster firing, but Red Death uh, has way less stability, a bit more impact, a bit more range, but basically you gotta get your shots on with this thing. That's all I'm gonna say. If you if you have good aim, you'll probably do well with this thing. Accurized Ballistics, Field Choke, and Aggressive Ballistics, uh, Unflinching, I mean, this thing has it all. Unflinching, High Caliber Rounds, Red Death, each kill heals you in speeds of reload. This thing was all I used, I think about, the second half or maybe like the first half of year two when it was all Nerwin's Mercy, Red Death, that type of, that type of archetype and Pulse Rival. I hope we get a weapons update soon. No word from Bungie just yet. Uh, who knows when the dawning arrives next Tuesday, if we will have one. If we do hear anything about it, you know here guys, just lock it in here. I'll have a full video on the uh, patch notes and everything. So uh, we got the ornament for Zao Supercell and the one for Trespasser. So I believe with the dawning, as uh, Scott Taylor said, if you see an ornament, you could just buy it for silver. So we'll have to see what happens when the new ornament kiosk. There was a picture, I think more console Alan pointed out on Twitter, either him or our known player, I forgot, someone from the UK 
pointed out they saw a, a little kiosk right next to Eververse. We think that's the one where you can just go in and buy ornaments. So, got the usual plasma drive, emerald coil, heavy ammo, three of coins, and glass needles. So, actually, I'm gonna buy some glass needles here just because I'm just in that stage where I am 400. I have more 400s than I can just imagine, and I'm just kind of trying to re roll things to just get my god tier roll. So, I keep using Destiny Item Manager to refresh and uh, see what gear I need to throw out. I just did a massive cleaning yesterday of just getting rid of class items, getting rid of boots, all sorts of stuff, uh, and only keeping the stuff that's either 100% or 99%. Well, actually, 98%, to be exact. <laughs> I'm babbling, it's the end of the video. You know what that means, babble modes engage. So do me a favor, guys, drop a like this video only if you see fit. Follow me on the Twitter, at Mason. Check out my stream, links in the description. And that's it. I'm out of here, like Vladimir. Hey, you still here? Hashtag made it to the end. Don't forget to grab your Mesa Sean 100,000 subscriber. Oh, I can't even say it. God, why don't we try it again? God, that kills my voice. Mesa Sean 100,000 subscriber t shirt. Guys, I love you all. Thank you so much for your support, guys. You guys have been buying a lot of the t shirts, and I really appreciate it. Uh, someone can get a 3A Seal Titan action figure, Control Freak. Uh, they're going to send some shirts out. Five shirts will be given out to uh, at random to people who buy one of the Mesa Army t shirts. Links will be in the description. And I can't do videos because it is 4 19 in the morning. I go to sleep. Love you guys. Bye.